Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brady coming fast with another fault video and today we are going to be talking about the best settings that you should be using in your game to give you a good mix of optimization and graphical fidelity. So if you do enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and also stick around after that part because we got a lot of fun stuff coming in August and I want to give you guys a heads up on that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here on the home screen, what you're going to do is go up to the top right and click on this little cog and it's going to take you right away to the video page where you can change your settings. Now I play up here in window mode and in maximize window. This part doesn't really matter much. I just like it because it allows me to move between my screens like this. You see my mouse cursor going off the screen. I have multiple monitors, so that's why it's useful. Otherwise, that doesn't really matter too much. 3D resolution is something that you can look at tuning down if your PC is struggling to even run at 60 frames per second because playing below 60 frames per second is just not a very pleasant experience whatsoever. Uh, so consider turning down the 3D resolution. This is one of those settings that does impact your performance quite a bit. So if you are struggling, if you are dropping frames, consider turning the 3D resolution down a bit. For the FPS limit, and the reason I have it at 60 FPS is because I stream at 60 FPS. I make videos at 60 FPS. There's no reason for me to go past 60 FPS. Plus, during the stream, there sometimes might be inconsistencies if there's too high of an FPS for me. So personally, I just cap it at 60. I, for you, if possible, would recommend capping it at 120 instead. Okay, the reason you want to cap it is because this game currently does have some issues with optimization and so having an unlimited fps setting might cause more frame drops than not uh so capping at 120 is the safer play and usually improves stability in any game that you play where there is the option to choose between unlimited fps and a capped fps so consider capping it if you are experiencing frame drops i'm gonna keep mine at 60 and vsync and cinematic view are both turned off now for the overall quality preset, I have mine at custom because this is how I played around with it. I have a strong enough PC to the point where I could have it on epic on everything. If I need to, I can turn it down to high. However, there's one option here that I have on medium and that is post processing. You do not need this to be any higher than medium in any situation. And in fact, in some cases, it makes your game look even better. I have people coming into my streams asking me, how is your game looking so good? Well, besides putting it on epic settings, post-processing on medium for some reason just makes the game look a tad bit better and also takes away from your CPU and GPU usage quite a bit. So it's just a very nice setting. Make sure you set this to medium. And if you are still having issues with your frames dropping, consider turning shadows down to medium or even low. Shadows are another one of those settings that do affect your performance quite a bit. So 3D resolution, post-processing, and shadows can all be turned down to increase your performance. And post-processing, I strongly recommend you bring this down to medium. So there you guys have it. These are my settings. This is what I use to be able to stream efficiently while playing Fault while experiencing as little frame drops as possible. At this moment in time, there still are frame drops. Optimization is being looked at, and I expect it to improve. Uh, however, I don't know how soon that will be, and for the time being, these are my settings. So these might get outdated pretty soon, but hey, there you go. Maybe this will help you, and if it does, I hope you consider dropping a like on this video. Now, let's move on to the next part of the video where I talk about stuff that has nothing to do with fault, but more so to do with next month and why it's so exciting for me personally. And well, I guess it is exciting for fault because we do have some stuff coming for fault next month anyway. So let's get to that section now. I want to start off this part of the video by just saying thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has been watching my videos, joining me on my live streams every day, just hanging out with me on Twitter or in Discord as well. It just all means so much to me and everything put together has just opened up new doors and new opportunities for me. Uh, you guys supporting and watching has put me in a situation that I have never been in before and I'm very, very thankful and I'm excited to share a few things coming very, very soon within the month of August with you guys as July ends. So the very, very first thing that's going to come in August is actually going to be on the very first day of August, August 1st, 12 p.m. noon time Pacific time. OK, so at noon, top of the hour, right, 12 p.m. Pacific time, 
I am going live with my first ever sponsored stream over on twitch.tv slash MurderKHD. So I hope you guys join me there because it's going to be a really big event, really, really important. And this way, I am able to take money from companies so you guys don't have to give me your money. It's a win-win. Plus, I'll also be doing a couple giveaways as well because it's such a momentous occasion. So I hope you guys join me there. Another thing that's happening is merch. Some of you guys have been wanting merch. Some of you guys have been wanting some Britic merch to come back or some new merch to come through. And that's exactly what's going on. I leaked a little bit of it on Twitter, but we've got some new merch on the way very, very soon. I am currently in the process of acquiring this and testing it, making sure it's of the quality that I want it to be before I open it up to you guys. But keep that in mind. We got a couple t-shirts on the way as well for those of you who wanted some new Britic merch and it is new it's completely new I've never released this design before uh, this upcoming week or, or two weeks however long it takes and yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and then one more thing that I know a lot of people have been waiting for is we actually upgraded our internet so now I will be able to stream an even better quality higher bit rate and I'm just super duper duper excited and we're just taking it to the next level because before I wasn't able to afford it and now with the recent uh, recent support I am able to afford it and I see a reason to afford it and a reason to invest into that uh, and again I was I'm really thankful and all your support just goes back in making the videos and streams much much better so thank you guys so there you go there's a little bit of a little snippet in a live of of what to expect in the next coming month I mean, there's so much more, but right now, I think that's just all I'm going to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video again, third time. If you did enjoy, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. And also, don't forget, I stream each and every single day on twitch.tv slash BritishHD, 2 p.m. PDT. And as always, make sure you have a wonderful day. Peace. <laughs>